Hi everyone, I'm Tiffy and I'm an independent Collar Street stylist. And today I'm gonna to do a new manicure with Hibiscus Kiss. And if you're first time here, welcome. I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you're returning, welcome back. I have, this is actually a pedicure set, you guys, and I have never used a pedicure set on my hands, and I wanted to try it, because, you know, you can use um, pedicure sets on your fingers, or you can use manicure sets on your toes, you know, so I just wanted to give it a try and, and see. It's something I've never done, but these sets were so pretty, and I just wanted to see. These just, my, like, like my little toe is so little. Like, none of this, I just love this set, and none of my little toes, like, my nails are so tiny that this just would not do it justice, in my opinion, you know? I don't know which one to use for that. Now, these are not double-ended, you guys, uh, like our regular manicures are. Um, not double-ended at all. Uh, should this go here? Would be better on the pointer so go pointer and that's why i'm doing this on camera because this is this is kind of when you are using color street you know sometimes you'll see the the little uh polish strips already set out well if you have never used color street before and you don't know which ones will fit your fingers This is how you do it. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's probably gonna be this one. Yeah, and they have this orange. I mean, obviously you can you can cut these to your liking, you know. Ooh, let's see which one's gonna go for the thumb. Let's see here. I don't know which one would will work. Probably this one. One or the other, I, I don't know. I just don't want to make it too short to where I have to stretch it, you know? That's the only thing. And that's going to be really big. Hmm. Well, how about this? We will use these when we get there. Now, this is a retired set, you know, uh, meaning that this set... Here, let's put these guys to the side. Um, you know, it's not available... But I just figured, you know, I had it, and once I got it in person, I saw, wow, this is, the print was so big, I just didn't see how I could use it on, on my toes. I have really small feet, so let's see here. We're going to try, this was that second one. I did prep my nails. I did put on some... Um, Color Street Nail Strengthener, and I filed my nails, and I did, you know, pushed back all the cuticle area. Oh, that is so pretty. Um, we'll see how this works out. I've never done this before, and we'll see if I like it. I don't generally, I will say this, like using the manicure sets on my toes because I don't, I'm not, I just don't do very well <laughs> at applying it. Um, I see other people do it and they make it look, you know, easy. I don't know if just because my toenails are so teensy, teensy tiny that it just makes it kind of difficult. But, you know, what can you do? Um, okay. I also wanted everybody to know that I, let's see here. So there's a little tiny space right there. That's okay. It's just... The shape is a little different. Um, so my thumbs, they ended up starting to like break at different spots. 
like you know up the nail like this one broke and I ended up making it shorter um it's just it broke you know way down here and I had kept fixing it and I used them to pop my Invisalign trays in and out don't do that because then I started using this to, this one and I broke this nail and so I ended up having to repair this nail too with a repair kit and this one did the same thing and I'm like ah so when your nails are long and you start putting stress on the tip of it like that it can you know to like and then pulling or you know it can break them you know so be mindful of that but I ended up having to just I'm just gonna have to keep my thumbs shorter I guess or just deal with them breaking in general as until I'm done with my Invisalign treatments we'll see but it just wasn't working out on those nails and I was like oh come on they were getting really long, you know, but I wish there was some type of a tool out there that you could use to pop them in and out. They don't sell one on the website, you know, the Invisalign website, so that I have seen anyway. So I just assume that there isn't one for that. And I don't, you know, want to use something that might damage the tree. Because, you know not cheap but let's see this is turning out really cool it's quite hot today so where are we at august okay i did want everybody to know this this is really exciting today was the fall edit launch collection there is something for everyone. I don't know if anyone has gotten a chance to check it out, but you know, I know we're still in these warm temperatures, but you know, people are already going back to school and we have fall is just right around the corner. So the great thing about it coming out now in August is you can get your sets. So whenever fall, you know, by the time it ships and gets to you, you can take a look at them and then see, you know, in person and see, you know, when you want to wear your fall sets, you know. There's also a back to school collection that we've had, you guys. I don't know if anybody has seen that. Cool stuff. I know a lot of people had been asking for back to school sets. And we finally got them this year. They're back to school. So I guess if you're a teacher or you're <clears throat> kids, you know, go to school or you are active and you do a lot of, you know, PTA, it'd probably be really fun to, or maybe homeschool, maybe homeschool. And it's just a fun way to, you know, welcome in the school year with those sets. Like, conference is over. I wanted to say, I did talk about conference last time, but I did mention the mascara. <laughs> yeah I did I did mention the mascara and the mascara you guys is oh my goodness that is so pretty see I would I just don't see how that would have worked on a toe <laughs> you know what I mean look at how big I mean all my toes my little toenails are like that big like that long right there so you know I just it would have been a waste the whole thing would have been a waste you know I am going to do my toes in one of the You, Me, and Capri sets. It It's not really like matchy-matchy, obviously, but I just thought, oh, wow, what a bright, bold co color to, you know, for August. Just thought that would be really fun and beautiful. And 
just thought it'd be pretty, so I was going to do my toes later with that one. I'm loving this. So I don't know if anyone, because this came out last summer, if you have already had a chance to wear this, or maybe you haven't, and you have it in your collection, you know, I wish I had some more of this, but I don't, unfortunately. What was, oh, I was talking about the mascara, and I just got sidetracked big time. Okay, so the mascara, you guys. Like, let me just say, there is going to be a waterproof one. And there is going to be a regular formula, you know, just the traditional type of mascara that you can get, which is awesome. You know, if you could get, you get an option, you know, which I think is so awesome. Because some people don't like waterproof. I like waterproof in the summertime. I actually have been looking for a really good waterproof mascara that I like. Haven't found one. So hopefully this one will do the trick. You know, because sometimes, I don't know if anybody else has this issue with waterproof mascara. It, it'll it like get like almost crumbly. You know what I mean? Crumbly. And there'll be a lot of fallout under my eyes, actually from waterproof like it's just dry and I've tried several different types you know brands I guess types <laughs> um brands of man that is such a pretty I guess I could have I could have stretched it just just a hair but that is that's fine to me that doesn't bother me mm. that is just so pretty Now, I don't know if I'm going to get any of that, a little tiny bit of the orange. Yeah, so if you were going to do your toes and you wanted the orange, you'd have to probably cut it, you know, because if these are not double-ended. I don't know why they made them like this. I, if, I'll be honest, if I was the designer of this, I probably wouldn't have made a strip for my, for toes with an ombre like that. I would have just, if they, I think they should have just made it a regular strip you know for fingers with this type of design I don't know sometimes I wonder what is going on during the creative process you know but one thing that I do like about Color Street is they hear us when we do say things and they start making changes to things that you know as consumers what we want what we like and they they really do you know Let's see, is that gonna fit? I hope it does. So you, if you, if you do have a print, you guys, uh, and you want to stretch it a little bit, you know, like width-wise, just be mindful when you do that that uh, you might distort the image, you know, a little bit, depending upon how how much you're stretching. So, you know, just kind of be careful and obviously be, be gentle because you don't want to tear it. That would be bad, right? Okay. Yeah, got a little tiny bit of that orange on the tip. So if you have really, if you have larger finger, oh, another thing you could probably do, you guys, if you wanted to, if you have shorter nails, maybe go like this way. So it goes straight across. That's not something I can do because my nails are too long, you know. But look at that. So I'm really, I was, I was, uh, you know, I did, I didn't go to conference, but I did the virtual. And I was really happy with the info that they gave us this year and the experience I did get uh, I've never been in person maybe next year it's supposed to be in Ohio next year 
so maybe, but it will depend on what's happening in my life then. What I got going on, you know, to see if I have the time to go. I do love that they give a virtual option, though. You know, because some of everybody can't, you know, just go, you know, if you have other obligations or, you know, which I love that they give that. This is so cute. Look at that. So when I get finished with this, after it cures a bit, I'm probably going to put on some OPI. Ooh, wait, am I going to do the OPI this time? No, I'm probably going to just do, um, let's see. I'll probably, I'll probably try the SE top coat. Mm. My OPI is a little thick right now, you know, and you know you can thin it out, but... I just didn't do it before, so. That's the only thing I don't like about the OPI is that it does get thick and as, you know, time goes on and stuff, but it is, oh, I don't know if this is gonna fit. This might be too tiny. Oh, here, let's see if I can stretch it a little bit. That might be too small. never done that before you guys it's the first time I ever stretched a strip really like that so that it would fit my finger and look at that huh it did it did a great job stretching you see that mm. my foot's asleep <laughs> oh my So does anybody else, let's see, play that Monopoly game? You guys know the Monopoly Go game. I've been playing it and I love it. I just play it, you know, like usually either, uh, sometimes I play it twice a day, you know, but I like to play it usually around in the morning or I'll play it in the evening. Sometimes like on the weekends, I'll play it both, you know, but I love it. And there's no... It's not challenging at all. You know, it's just something to do, you know, something mindless to do, but it's fun. And I don't know if anybody else plays it. It's not like, you know, skills required, you know, like if you're going to play something, you know, like chess. <laughs> you know, you just, you don't really have to think. Sometimes I just need something like that where I just don't have to think about, you know, like making a um, strategy and stuff. Those types of games. I mean, I think it is pretty fun. I don't know if anybody else plays. Okay. I won't see that I stretch it far enough. But getting back to the mascara, I'm really actually excited about it. So I'm hoping that it is exactly what I've been looking for, because that would be amazing. And, you know. Ooh, let's see if we, oh, first let's see if these, the, this other one will fit. You know what I mean? Before I, I do that, I don't know if it'll go sideways for that kind of ombre-ish sideways ombre but I'll see because my nails are really short so I don't know if it'll if I, you know it'll work out for me that way so with the fall edit I don't know if anybody's gotten a chance to see them but 
some of them are so pretty oh and just so everybody knows there is something for everyone there is clear overlay there is jellies there is oh let's see what should i say there are there are uh, there's just a lot of different type of You know, there's the nail art, there's glitter, a glitter overlay. It's just, just there's something for everyone, everyone. There's some solids. I am pretty happy with what came out. It is different than last year. I will say this though, compared to what came out last year, I don't like last year's better because it had more of a you know a fall vibe I don't know oh maybe I should just do that one instead of this didn't I say I was gonna try this right so across the middle like that maybe should we try it just to see let's do it why not why not let's see if it'll work let's see if I can get that right in the middle I'm not good at doing stuff like that. Well, we'll see. Let's see here. Look. I did it. So if you have a short nail, that will work for you. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with this. Oh yeah, that is so awesome. Look at that. So this is the first time I've done this with the petty set on my fingers instead of on my toes and worked out great so getting back to the fall collection the fall collection this year is a little different so it's like a fall edit so they're using a lot of high fashion um influences to create the shades and uh, designs that went into it. And honestly, they're really cool, but I, to me, they don't really scream, oh wow, when I look at that, I see fall. You know what I mean? Some of them, yes, because they're like sweater inspired or, you know, the materials, some of the materials that you would use, you know, during the cooler as things, you know, change, it reflects that, you know, in fashion and clothing and stuff, but and if you see the strips, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it's not, you know, if you're if you're one of those people that just really liked last year's like me, it's a very different. It's not bad by any means. It's just very different. So if I had to pick, you know, a favorite between last year and this year, I have only been a stylist for two falls. That's why I'm that's why I'm saying that. I would say last fall um, was my favorite. I kind of like the way that turned out. So you get a little, a little color across. And then this one. We'll try to do the same thing. Otherwise, we'll just have a pink. It'll just be pink. I am actually, what I'm really excited about is I'm anticipating Halloween, the Halloween collection. That is 
last year you guys the halloween collection that was released just i loved it it was awesome totally awesome absolutely loved it and this year i can't wait to see what they do I don't know if anyone else. So I usually like I wore more of the Halloween sets than the fall sets, I guess, last year. Um, and then, you know, then the, you know, Christmassy holiday, New Year's stuff started coming out. I mean, there's just so many sets that come out towards, um, you know, the second, this very end, last quarter of the year that it just feels like there's so many choices and you don't know what to do you know as far as like which one do I choose what do I wear now um I mean if you change your nails all the time you know like a couple times a week then of course you know you you know but a lot of people will wear one set for the whole week or for 10 days even if you can get 10 days wear out of it I can if I put Clara's day over or double I can easily get the full 10 days out and, you know, being mindful about, you know, getting my hands in water. So when you start putting your hands in water, it weakens, you know, it, you know, your, your nails like expand and they become a little more weak and they can break easier, uh, you know, and your mani will not last as long also because the polish will wear down faster and stuff. So depending upon, you know, what your lifestyle I mean if you're a nurse I mean I don't think you can, I don't even know if you can wear polish if you're a nurse or you work in a, a doctor's office you're washing your hands all the time that's almost you know impossible to keep your hands out of water but so you might have to change your polish more often or maybe you can only wear on the weekends or you know on your days off which you know I'm sure a lot of them do Look at that, you guys. What do you guys think? This is Hibiscus Kiss on the fingers instead of on the toes. Um, I love it. I thought it turned out beautifully. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.